Yeah, the room here not yet filling in, but it's quite early. I'm here with Guy Giorno, who is the national campaign co-chair. Mr. Giorno, thanks for joining me. Uh, we've seen some results trickle in. Uh, you know, so far it's a number of seats going towards the Liberals. We've seen what the polls are saying. Contacts I have in the war room are, are worried about a Liberal win. How do you feel? I, I think we are. Uh, we sense it's a competitive election, and we know this is going to come down to uh, the votes in, in a lot of individual ridings. We've got so many close races uh, across the, uh, the country, and in places that are still voting now, Quebec and Ontario, uh, the prairies. It's, it, I think it's going to come down really to to the turnout and uh, people voting in, uh, in in a lot of individual ridings. Very, very close. Very close. A lot of competitive races. Your colleague Corey Chenick told me the other day that he thought a majority was out of reach for any party. Do you feel the same way? I, I think we're going to leave that to, to the voters. There's still millions of people casting their ballots. They're going to decide what kind of government they elect. And um, it, this is going to be, I think it's probably the most competitive, close election in, uh, in recent history. I know people are still out there voting, but when you look back on this campaign, do you regret at all calling an 11-week campaign, giving Justin Trudeau 11 weeks to prove himself and setting the bar for expectations so low? Well, it certainly allowed us to run the campaign in two phases, which we, we, we did, focusing on on, uh, on, um, on the job of the Prime Minister in the first half and then focusing on, on the economy as we transitioned to the second half of our campaign. It's given us 11 weeks to, tr to travel to places that um, Mr. Harper wouldn't traditionally been able to do in a shorter campaign. You feel it benefited your campaign then? It, it wasn't, it's not an issue of benefiting one way or the other. It's, it was, it was, uh, the campaign was done because we were already, in a, all the parties were in election footing and it was felt it was appropriate that they didn't campaign on parliamentary and government resources, they campaigned on partisan resources for that 11 week period. So it wasn't done to benefit one party or the other, but it has allowed, I guess all parties, but certainly ours, to talk to more people and to, and to reach more Canadians and more communities. Just finally, quickly, what's worst case scenario for you guys tonight? <laughs> It, you know, people are going to decide what what, um, what scenarios are, are, are what. Obviously, we are we're, we're looking to win. Uh, we are we're hoping to, and uh, that's coming down to a lot of these close races. Okay, thanks very much for joining us. I appreciate it. Back.